Good morning guys and welcome to Slow Flow. Um, we've got some new sequences that I've been trying out this week so hopefully you'll enjoy them. Um, so today's session you don't need anything at all, just some space on the mat um, or floor if you, have, if you don't have a mat. Um, and then just come and join me in a seated position and we'll begin our warm up. So we're just going to start with a few shoulder rolls. Start by rolling your shoulders back and down five times. Really hunching the shoulders up towards the ears, sliding those shoulder blades back down the spine. And then when you've done five times in one direction, rotate in the other direction. So you should roll them forwards. Again, really hunching those shoulders up into the ears. Getting them nice and warm, ready for our practice. And then when you've done those, just come back to centre. We're going to inhale now as we lift our left hand up towards the sky. Exhale as you reach over to the right. Inhaling back to centre, switching over the arms. Exhale, reach over to the left. So each time, think about reaching up tall, lengthening the spine. We're going to do this five times each side, moving with your own breath in your own time. Really think about extending the spine, finding as much length as possible, last time each side, as you fold over. And then this time, come to centre, exhale as you lift and twist to look behind you, inhale back to centre, exhale, twist to look behind the other shoulder. And again, just five times with your own breath, at your own pace, each side. And really use that arm, the opposite arm against the knee to pull the body round. Last time each side. And then we're just slowly going to come onto our hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're going to do five cat cows. So you're going to inhale as you dip the stomach to look up at the ceiling. Exhale as you round through the spine, pulling the shoulder blades apart, looking towards the knees. Press the ground away. Inhale to lift, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale to round. Inhale to lift. And think about moving vertebrae by vertebrae as you slowly transition from each end of the pose. Last on each side. And then we're going to move into down facing dog. So just take your hands slightly further forwards on the mat. Touch your toes, cross up into down facing dog. That's an upside down V shape. And just begin by pedaling out your legs, opening up those calves, those hamstrings, ankles and hips. Grip the mat with your hands, press the hands into the floor and think about pressing the head through the arms. Open up the shoulder blades, create space across your upper back. Allow your neck to be long and loose. Don't let the shoulders suck your neck in. And then if you want to, just take a few times to pulse the head towards the floor, opening up the shoulders. Take a nice deep breath in as you find length in your spine. Reach your tailbone towards the floor, ceiling. Press your heels as you exhale towards the floor. And then slowly walk the feet in towards the hands. Come into Uttanasana forward fold. Bringing your chest towards your thighs, let your crown of the head hang long towards the ground. And if you want to take rag doll for a few breaths, you can. Take one final deep inhale all the way in. Find length in your spine, exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up to standing. Extend it to asana. exhale, release the hands. So we're just going to begin with a couple of warm-up flows. So we're going to do two rounds of so a short flow just to get the body nice and warm and moving and a bit more nimble 
Um, so whenever you're ready, come to the front of the mat and join me in Stasana. Lift your toes, spread them, press your feet firmly into the ground. I really want you to feel like you're connected with the floor below you. Press through your legs, engage your glutes, engage your thighs, tuck your tailbone under, set the navel back in towards the spine, roll the shoulders back and down, and just take a nice deep breath all the way in. Think about standing nice and tall as you lengthen through the crown of your head. And then on the next inhale, lift your hands up above the head, extend it to Dasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips as you fold down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Think about bringing your chest towards your thighs, let the crown of your head hang on towards the ground. We're here for three breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Find length as you exhale, fold deeper and plant your hands on the floor. Option to step your feet all the way back to down facing dog. So just walk your feet back, come into down facing dog pose. Take a nice deep breath in as you press through the hands, pushing your tailbone towards the sky, and just take a few pedals with the feet. Again, just opening up those calves, those hamstrings, opening up the hips, the ankles, and then just come to still. From here, we're going to take the right foot outside of the right hand as we inhale, coming into a lizard lunge, lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling, exhale, release the hand to the floor, step back to down facing dog. Inhale, as you do the same on the other side, so left foot, left hand, lift and twist with the left hand up towards the ceiling, exhale, release the hand, step back to down facing dog. We'll take a vinyasa now, so we're going to inhale as we roll forward to high plank, option to drop the knees if you want to, exhale, low plank or knees chest chin, Inhale, press up to cobra. Take a nice deep breath in as you press through the ground. Exhale, and allow your hips to sink towards the floor. And then again, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, press back to extended child pose. Take one deep, full breath all the way in. Exhale, and then on the next inhale, come up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes. Press back to now facing dog. We're going to do that sequence one more time. So you're going to take your right foot outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge. Inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, release the hand to the floor. Step back to down facing dog. Inhale, left foot, left hand. Inhale, lift and twist. Exhale, release the hand. Step back to down facing dog. We'll take one final vinyasa. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, press back to down for, uh, to extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly walk. Come back up into your hands and knees. Come into down facing dog as you exhale. And then walk your feet all the way into Uttanasana forward fold. We're going to take three breaths here as we fold over our legs, bringing our chest towards our thighs, crown of the head towards the ground, and if you want to take our dog, swing from side to side, do whatever your body needs in this moment. One last deep breath all the way in, exhale, and then inhale as you come all the way up, extended Shasana. Exhale, release the hands. So we're now onto the standing flow part of our sequence or our lesson. Um, so if you come to um, the front of your mat, we're going to find extended Tadasana once more. So think about connecting your feet with the ground, lift your toes, press the feet in, finding that nice tall, long position, rolling the shoulders back and down. And as you take a nice deep breath in, lift the hands up above the head, extended Tadasana, reach up tall. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, Coming all the way down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Bringing the chest towards the thighs, letting the head hang long towards the floor. Just take a nice deep breath here. Exhale, fold deeper and plant your hands on top of your, shin, uh, on top of your feet. We're going to slide the hands up the shins as we inhale, coming into a halfway lift, straightening the legs, squeezing the shoulder blades back together and finding a neutral spine, tabletop position, so a nice flat back. Hold for three, for two, 
for one. Exhale, release. Plant the hands on the floor and then we're going to step back to plank. Find your plank position, option to drop the knees if you need to. Exhale, low plank or knees chest chin. And then inhale as you press up to cobra. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs. Point the toes to help the upper body out and take the pressure off the lower back. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. We're gonna come into our warrior pose on the left side. So inhale as you lift your left leg up high towards the sky. Look forwards and swing it through, plant it between your hands. Plant the back foot down at a 45 degree angle. Imagine you're standing on train tracks. The wider your train tracks are, the steadier your stance will be. So get ready, find your steady stance. Get ready to lift your hands. And as you inhale, lift up, come into warrior one. Exhale, sink into that lunge. Pull the shoulders back and down, away from the ears. Make sure the body's nice and vertical. Try not to lean forwards or too far backwards. Engage the core to help the body stay nice and upright. Squeeze through the inner thighs, press through the feet. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, and then we're going to transition into warrior three. So get ready to move your body weight forwards over the front leg, drag the back leg behind, come up almost into extended tadasana, and as you exhale, hinge forwards, coming into warrior three. Warrior three can be just with your toes, balance on the floor, if that's for you today, or see if you can challenge yourself and take the body like a lever, so that it's parallel to the floor below. Keep your arms by your ears, reach and extend through the fingers, activate the hands and feet. Take a nice deep breath in as you come all the way up, step back ooh, to your warrior pose. <laughs> and we're coming into warrior two, so release the arms parallel to the floor now. Take a nice deep breath in, open the hips towards the long edge of the mat. Exhale, sink down into that warrior two lunge. Make sure that your body is nice and upright. Make sure that your hips are open to the long edge. Pull the shoulders back and down, press through the thighs. Through the feet, sorry. Squeeze the inner thighs. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then we're going to windmill the arms all the way up and over, finding our lunge position. Lift that back heel off the floor. Step back to plank and we'll take a vinyasa. So exhale, low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra. Stay in Cobra. If Cobra's too much for you guys, um, at any point in any of my lessons, you can reduce it down to Sphinx. If you're looking for something more challenging, um, which isn't very slow flow, but if you want to go further, lift the knees off the floor and come into Up Dog. It's a much stronger position. But today, it's all about relaxing and restoring, so Cobra or Sphinx is probably what you need. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Take one more deep breath in, and as you exhale, this time look over your left shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, and then as you inhale, come back to center, and as you exhale, look over your right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. Come back to center, and then we're going to tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, you're gonna find that three-legged down facing dog position again. So look forwards as you inhale to lift that leg up high. Swing the leg through, we're coming into a low lunge. So left leg, sorry, leading with the left leg first. Right knee goes down. Inhale to lift the arms up off the floor so you're in a, a lifted lunge. And then exhale as you cactus the arms out towards the sides, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale to lift. Exhale to find lunge again with the hands on the floor and then we're going to step back to uh, plank and then exhale to low plank, inhale to cobra and then finally tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Walk the feet in towards the hands, come into Uttanasana forward fold, take a nice deep breath in, find length in the spine, exhale fold deeper. And then inhale as you lift all the way up, extend it to Dasana. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. Careful not to let the tailbone slip out, let it keep it tucked under. Pull the shoulders back and down away from the ears. Engage the core, suck the navel back towards the spine. And then inhale as you come back up. Bring the hands to your heart and we'll come, in, come into crouching tiger pose. 
So right foot is going to go over, or right ankle is going to go over the left knee. And then as you exhale, you're going to sit back into your crouching tiger pose, keeping your chest nice and lifted. Feeling that stretch in the right glute. Hold for three, for two, for one. And then inhale to lift back up. Exhale, release the arms. Shake it all off. And then we're going to go over to the other side now. So come back to that Tadasana pose. Reconnect your feet with the ground. Find that nice, strong, active standing position. And then inhale as you take a nice deep breath in. Lifting the hands up above the head. Exhale as you fold forwards, hinging at the hip center. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands on top of the feet. And then on the next inhale, we're going to lift to our halfway lift or flat back position. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Find your nice neutral spine with straight legs. Hold for three, for two, for one. Exhale, release. Plant the hands on the floor. Step back to plank. And we're going to go down into low plank. So exhale, low plank. Inhale, come up to cobra. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. We're coming into our warriors on the other side now. So inhale as you lift the right leg up high towards the sky, look forwards, swing the leg through, plant it between the hands, help it there if you need to, and get ready to lift your hands off the floor. So back foot goes down at a 45 degree angle. Remember your steady stance. Inhale to lift, pressing through that front leg. Find that nice upright torso position. Exhale, sink down into your warrior one pose. Take a nice deep breath in, squeeze the thighs, press through the feet, squeeze the core to keep it upright. And then we're coming into warrior three. So get ready to put all the weight through that front leg and start dragging as you inhale, lift up and drag the back leg towards the front. Find a nice upright position, extend up tall. And as you exhale, come down into your warrior three. Hold for three, for two, for one, and then we're going to step back to warrior two, releasing the arms, opening the hips as we inhale to the long edge of the mat. Exhale, sink down into that warrior two. Again, just make sure your body's nice and vertical. Don't move forwards, don't move back. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, can you sink a little lower? And then get ready to windmill the arms over as you inhale. Find your lunge position again, lift that back heel off the floor. Find lunge, step back to plank, and we'll take a vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Take a nice deep breath here. And as you exhale, look over the left shoulder. Take one deep breath here. Exhale again. And then inhale back to center. Exhale as you look over the right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more breath. Exhale. And then inhale back to center. Come back to Cobra. Tuck the toes. Press back to down facing dog. We're coming into that low lunge now. So inhale as you lift the right leg up high towards the sky. Look forwards. Swing the leg through. Find your low lunge position. So back knee goes down on the floor. Inhale as you lift the hands up off the floor, reaching up tall, feel the stretch in that left hip flexor. Exhale, cactus the arms out towards the side, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale to lift up again, and then exhale to come back down into lunge. Press the foot, uh, step back to um, plank position, sorry, and we'll take another vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest in. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, you're just going to walk the feet in towards the hands. Find your Uttanasana forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper over those legs. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extend to Tadasana. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. Keep that core engaged, tuck the tailbone under. Hold the shoulders away from the ears. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then on the next inhale, lift up. 
Exhale, release the hands, bring them to prayer at your heart. And then we're going to take the left ankle now over the right knee, finding our crouching tiger position as we exhale to sit back, keeping our weight in our heels, keeping the chest up nice and tall, feeling that stretch in the, in the glute. <laughs> See if you can find somewhere steady to focus on. Probably not me. Hold for three, for two, for one. And then we're going to inhale as we come all the way back up. Exhale, release. Roll the shoulders out. And then take one more deep breath in as we rise up onto our toes. Extend it to dust. Now find your balance. And as you exhale, come all the way down into a crouching forward fold. Bringing the hands all the way to the floor. Tuck the head in towards the knees. Feel the stretch across the upper back. And then just exhale as you release yourself to the floor. And come down into a seated position on the mat. Take the legs out now straight in front of you. We're going to come into a seated forward fold. So um, legs out straight, pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bones. Flex the toes. Lengthen through the crown of your head so you've got a nice long spine. And then inhale as you lift the hands up, reaching up tall. Exhale as you fold over those legs, bringing your chest towards your thighs and then allowing your head to drop towards your knees. What the, a lot of people do in this pose, we're going to be here for five breaths, so just stay there. Thinking about bringing your chest, you're lengthening that lower back area so that you're having a nice long spine. What I don't want to see is people doing this because you're just hurting your upper back and you're not actually getting any length to be able to do anything. So think about lifting the body up, reaching forward with that chest first and then allowing the head to drop. You've probably got two or so breaths left. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come up into a seated position. We're going to take our right uh, left leg over the top of our right leg. Sole of the foot goes flat against the floor on the opposite side or the outside edge of your right knee. You're going to inhale as you lift and lengthen. Think about bringing that chest in towards that inner thigh. Hook the right arm around the outside of the leg. Inhale to lift. Exhale as you twist to behind. Half Lord of the Fishes. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. One more. Exhale. And then slowly unravel yourself and we'll do the other side. So left leg goes long, right leg comes up and over, sole of the foot on the outside, floor area um, besides your left knee. Remember to find that nice long tall position, hook the elbow around the knee. Inhale to lift, exhale as you look behind, over that right shoulder and take another three breaths on this side. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly unravel yourself again. We're going to slide onto our backs now. So slide your bum into the center of your mat. Come down onto your backs. Bring your knees in towards your chest. And just hug them with both arms. Rock from side to side, back and forth. Take a few breaths. Massage your lower back. And then slowly take the hands over to the left knee. Exhale as you extend the right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull that right left knee in towards the shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you lift both knees back up to centre. Switch over the hands. Exhale as you extend the left leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull that right knee in towards the right shoulder. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then bring both knees back up to centre. Again, you can quickly hug them into your chest with both arms, rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, release the hands out to the side of you in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. Think about connecting your shoulders with the floor. 
And then as you exhale, you're going to drop your knees all the way over to the left. Inhale to lift and twist your head to look towards the right. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. If your knees aren't touching the floor, don't worry, just let gravity do the work. If they are, maybe press down on the outer thigh or extend the top leg and take a further three breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you lift the knees and the head back to center. And then drop the knees over towards the right as you exhale. Inhale to lift and twist the head towards the left. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then again, if you want to press down on the outer thigh, or extend that top leg and crane it in the opposite hand you can and take three further breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly Bring the knees and the head back to centre. You can hug them again with both arms, rock from side to side, and we're prepared to go into a mini savasana. So extend the legs slowly down to the floor. Get comfortable on your mat, close your eyes, and just take your attention to your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Just take three deep inhales. Filling up from the base of your stomach first. See if you can fill right up to your collarbone before releasing the air. And just notice how that breath sits within the body, how the body moves around the breath, how the breath moves the body. And just notice while you're there, how your body's feeling. Maybe check in with yourself, give yourself a quick scan from head to toe. Are there any areas of tightness or tension left to release? And think about sending that breath all the way to those areas. And we'll begin at the head. So start to think about sending that breath in towards the face and the head and the ear. And as you take a nice deep inhale, clench your muscles up tight in that area, clench your eyes, clench your lips. And as you exhale, release. Allow your eyes to be heavy in their sockets. Allow your cheeks to melt back down towards your ears. Allow your jaw to soften. And then just keep following that breath now as it travels down the neck and into the shoulders and the arms and the hands. And as you take another deep inhale, clench your hands up into tight little fists and shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. As you exhale, release. Allow your hands to fall open. Allow your arms to feel long and heavy. Allow your shoulders to sink deeper into the mat below. Maybe you find more space between your shoulder blades. Maybe you find more length in your neck. Follow that breath now as it travels deeper down into the body, trickling down the spine and into the hips and the glutes and the thighs. And as you take a deep inhale, squeeze every muscle up in that area as tight as you can. And as you exhale, release. Allow your hips to fall open. Allow the small of your back to sink deeper into the ground below. And then finally, that breath travels all the way down the legs and into the ankles and the feet and the toes. And 
as you take another deep inhale, clench your toes up into tight little balls and tense your legs up. And as you exhale, release. Allow your feet to fall open. Allow your legs to feel long and heavy. And just check in with yourself once more. Are there any areas of tightness or tension that you're still holding on to? Could you release them with one final breath? And whenever you're ready, I want you to take one final deep inhale as you clench everything up as tightly as you possibly can. And as you exhale, release everything back down deeper into the mat below. And keeping your attention on your breath, following its flow within your body, with your mind's eye. Just enjoy a few moments of stillness, ignoring the outside world. Ignoring any thoughts or distractions. Just focusing on the here and the now. If you find your attention drifts off, just gently bring it back following that flow of your breath with your mind's eye, in through the nose, down through the throat, into the lungs, into the belly, and then back out. And slowly, whenever you're ready, start to notice my voice, notice the sounds around you. Begin to bring movement back into the body, whether the fingers, wiggle the toes. Maybe you want to make those movements bigger now as you take a stretch above the head or bring the knees in towards the chest and hug them with both arms. You could rock from side to side, do whatever you feel your body needs you to do in this moment. Listen. And then, whenever you're ready, just slowly roll over onto the right side of your body. Come all the way up to seated slowly. And we'll take one final deep inhale as we lift our hands up above the head, palms together. As we exhale, we bring the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the session.